Hi guys. So, I know, I know. You guys are probably saying, Maggie, you said that the hauls were going to be on Mondays and today's not a haul. <laughs> oh my gosh. I shouldn't even say anything anymore because it just doesn't, sometimes it just doesn't work out. Uh, I have a few orders that I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for an order from Ranger. I'm waiting for an order from Amazon, from Craftelier, and from Timu. And nothing's come in yet. So guess what? We're just going to roll with it and we're going to do a craft with me video. And before I share with you what we're going to be making today, I do want to give a big shout out to La Power Tech who reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try out one of their desk lamps. And I said, sure, I'm always looking for new lighting for my craft space. And they went ahead and sent this to me and this is what they sent me. So this is a gooseneck LED um, lamp that actually connects on, clamps onto your desk or table. And it's amazing, you guys. So here's the neck. It has um, a, a touch, um, like a, I want to say a touch screen, but it's 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 a touch control, and it's so good. And so they sent me this, and let me just show you real quick. So this is the whole manual. Here is the controls and indicators. So it has, I don't even know, let me see. Does it say how many different types of lighting it gives you? I want to say, let's see, clamping, cautions. Uh, it has a timer. Uh, oh, it has six different color temperatures is what they call it. And oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. So it has the power, the power button. It has a timer and it's in, I believe, 20 minute increments. So it's 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and then an hour, 60 minutes. And then it has the brightness that you can kind of move up and down with your finger, depending on how bright you want it. And then the color temperature. So they have six different settings for the color um, lighting that you want. It has an adjustable neck. It's easy to put together. And right now, the original price for this lamp is $49.99. I just checked it before I posted this video. And it's on sale right now for $28.99. And it does have a 15% off coupon additional to the $28.99. So... If you guys are interested in new lighting, this is amazing because I can position this in any way that I need and the lighting, the the brightness, the uh, color temperature, all of that is adjustable and I absolutely love it. I have it on the side of me over here and it's kind of towering over my work area and I'm obsessed. This is absolutely amazing. I'm so, so happy that they reached out and sent this to me so that I can share this with you guys. I know that I've been getting comments about my lighting and it was normally just a little eight inch or six inch little ring lamp that I have above me, but I do also have lighting above me that um, in the ceiling that my husband had put up, but sometimes you need something a little bit closer. So there it is, your little commercial before we start. <laughs> So thanks again to La Power Tech for sending me this awesome desk lamp. So let's get into our craft. This is what we're making. I am obsessed with making tags. I know a lot of us are. And when I, um, I try to kind of keep them a little bit further in between you know, the, the timing that I do my tags, because if I can, I would do a tag Tuesday a tag every Tuesday because I have a whole Pinterest board of just tags that I want to do. So here it is. This is what we're making. This is, um, a, I guess, uh, a hidden journal card tag. So I'm not sure, but you'll know once you see this video, what I named it, but this is what it is. Isn't this cute? So 
I came up with this. I'm not sure if anybody's done this. So if they have, then I'm kind of late to the game. But either way, I thought it was cute. This is a, I believe it's, let me see. It's a three by five and a half, a three by five and a half tag. And this is a two and three quarters by what four four and a half so two and three quarters by four and a half i'll try to remember to leave the um dimensions or or the the measuring the measurements um in the description so this is what we're doing and so this is what i made so here's this and then you have i just stamped it with my uh, school desk stamp from Tim Holtz. I just stamped that on for a little journal spot. So I made this one. Then I made this one. Do you remember this? I believe I got these from Timu and they're my little jewel uh, butterflies. And so I wanted to do something a little bit colorful for this one. And I did this. And again with the journal uh, notepad stamp on the back this one I did add a little bit of the texture paste on it just because I wanted a little bit of texture I just wanted to give you guys ideas on how to make these so I did that on that one and of course I had to make a mushroom one of course and there's this with your journal on the back so let's go ahead and get started this is super easy, total beginner friendly, and um, I'm gonna show you guys how you can make an easy little tab as well without a punch. So let's get started. I'm just gonna be using an eight and a half by 11 cardstock. This is pretty heavy. If you remember, I had hauled this. Um, it has different, these are actually all the different ones. So it's got the light brown, the dark brown, the gray and the white wood. So this is all from Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna get out my cutter and we're just gonna start cutting. I'm gonna cut this at six, six inches. And then at five and a half five and a half so six inches by five and a half okay so there's that and then we're gonna use one of the little pieces and then we're gonna cut the tag down to four and a half okay and two by two and three quarters And this is our tag now this little piece we're gonna use as our little tab so this I believe should be about one and a half yeah so we're gonna cut an exact square one and a half by one and a half so this is we're gonna cut this and use this as our little this is gonna be our tab okay so let's move everything else out of the way and then we're done with the cutter I'm going to be using my scoreboard just so that I could score right in the middle because it is six inches we're just gonna score right in the middle just so that I have an even um, fold putting that on the floor and just crease that down Okay, this is going to be our little tab. So let me show you. We're just gonna get everything prepared now. Just fold that in half, score it down. And what I'm using are my two um, corner punches. So this is the round one, and then this is the straight edge. So we're gonna round the corners at the open ends 
I'm gonna use my smallest corner rounder punch. And then I'm gonna use the medium size straight edge on the fold. It might take a little bit of strength <laughs> to push that through. And then there you have it. There's your little tab. Not bad, right? There it is. I am going to round this corner again with the medium round punch side. <laughs> and then I'm going to use the biggest corner on this one. And I think that's it with our punches. There it is. So I am going to use my Distress Oxide and the Ground Espresso just to go ahead and ink all around the edges. And then we do need our one inch hole punch. You know, we should do that now so that we can ink. I like to put this kind of towards the top, a little bit less than a half circle. And then we can go ahead and ink that. I am going to ink the inside edges just because I feel like when you try to open it and put the little um, journal card on the inside, you can see it. And so I'm just going to do this part here on both sides. Let's go ahead and ink this. I am going to ink on both sides. And I'm going to ink our little tab. I didn't want to bring out, I was being lazy last night because I was testing out this little project. I was being lazy, I didn't want to deal with trying to I'm going to go ahead and get a scratch piece of paper while I'm talking and I'm going to stamp this is the school desk um, little note notebook paper stamp and we're just going to stamp this but I was being lazy going back to what I was saying I was being lazy and I didn't want to bring out my um my my big shot or any of my my cutting my die cut machines and I was like oh, I don't feel like taking it out and then I thought well what if you know not everybody has one and so I thought let me see if I can come up with a simple idea on how to make the little tabs super easy peasy and so I just brought out my corner punches. I feel like most of us have corner punches more than we have the cutting machine. And so there it is. I think we're done with this for now until we start decorating. Okay, let me go ahead and get out my art glitter glue. And I am going to glue these corners down just to the corners and then on the bottom. That's it. And then make sure that gets down pretty well. Super easy. Let's go ahead and decorate this one. I do have both my art glitter glue and my um, glue stick, just in case. Not sure what I need right now. But I also have just a random book that I thrifted. 
because I love the color of the pages and I love how small and dark the, um, the print is. So I've been kind of digging this one. And so I like to just kind of pull out of this and I have my, my, what, my ridge, my, what is it called? This um, a ruler that has like the ridges, the tear, tearing ruler. I don't know, something like that. Let me see how, uh, about here. Okay, and I am going to ink this. I just like the way the book page looks as the background. And I'm going to use my glue stick for this one because it's a thin piece of paper like it's just easier to use the glue stick then we'll put this down here okay then let's see what else let's put remember these I also hauled these from, let's do this one. I hauled those from uh, Timu as well. I like to put them kind of staggered. So let's just put this. Just kind of a, a spoiler alert. I, from Ranger, I actually, um, Let's do it this way. I actually ordered um, a couple of reinkers, and <laughs> the ground espresso is definitely one of them because I feel like it's drying out. I use it so much. Uh, let's see, what else do I want to use? We could use, I have all of these random little, ooh, that's cute. Ooh, that one's cute too. Let's put that or this. No, I like this one. I have a lot of random little labels that I've been kind of collecting that I've been wanting to use, kind of use up. I know that would look really cute on um, a master board. Make some tags out of the master board. Oh, I don't, I didn't get this corner. I felt it. Okay. Did I get this corner? No. There. All right. What else? Oh, I didn't get this corner either. Wow. Easy fix. Okay, what else do I want? I have these sticker labels too. I could cut this down, put it like that. These are paper stickers. I love these kind. Let's see, will that fit this way? Uh, maybe a little bit more. Ooh, sorry, I dropped my my glue stick on my dangle. That made a lot of noise, I'm sorry. These are so much fun to make. You can use up all of your scraps, put it this way. Okay, now for our focal point. And for that, we're getting out my book. I'm so excited. Okay, let's see what we want. 
we want to put um, flowers, a plant. What do we want? Let me see. Let me look at it again. I could put another mushroom, or should we do like a, an animal? <laughs> we could put an animal. Let's see. Is there an animal that I want to use? Hmm. Is that a groundhog? We had groundhogs living um, in our, around our house. We kind of live in a little um, wooded area. Let's see. Uh, no, I don't want to do an animal. Let's do something pretty. Uh, let's see, that might be pretty to put right in the middle. I kind of want something bigger though. How about this one? Let's do this big plant. I want it to be the major focal point. Isn't that pretty? And because these are, this sticker book, they're um like paper stickers. So guess what? We can ink them up and they look so good. I'll link this, um, I had hauled this from Amazon. I'll link this as well. I have to make a list of things that I said that I'm going to link. Oh yeah, that's going to look cool. I covered up half my stuff, but that's okay. Let me just put this back. Yeah, I like that. Let's do a little, one of my little number strips. Let's do, let's do this. For this one, I'm going to use this. The paper is not very thin. Just put this down here. All right, that's done. Now let's go ahead and do this one. Let's see. I could put this since I already have it out. But I do want to put another book page on the bottom. Let me just get another one. And then tear this down. See how far I want it. About here. Yeah, that'll work. Move that. And then I did water down some paint some white paint so that we can do a little bit of a splatter on it. I've never done that before and I kind of like, I really like the way it looks actually. I've seen other people do that and I kept thinking that's, it's an easy thing to do and it makes it look so nice. So let's put this, getting the corners and then put this here. Now, do we want to put this? That'll be cute. And then we'll get another plant to kind of match the front, the actual tag. We'll do this again, getting the corners. here 
let's see. Do we want another little sticker? What is this? Let's put this. That'll be pretty. Kind of matches the little stamp that we have on here. We'll just get rid of that white. This is also a sticker. Uh, we'll put that over here. Okay, let's look for another little plant. I love this book so much. Let's see, what plant can we put? I, have to, I feel like I have to look at it. <laughs> we could put, let's see. Is this too big? But I really like this one. Because it, it has like the berries that kind of match. Let's put it. The berries kind of match the stickers that we have on here. Let me just ink this. Put that here. Ooh, pretty. Let's do another little... number strip. Add glue to this. And then we can finish it off. Put that down here. Yeah, cute. Okay. So to this, we're going to add our little tab but I kind of want to I kind of like to put it in just to kind of see exactly where I need for it to be where the tab the little um, journal card is gonna sit so this is what I do just to kind of make sure that I have it right where I need it okay And then I do the bottom of one side, put it down, and then I open the other side and then put glue all on that one. There it is. Now we can punch. So I'm going to use this punch. Let me close up my glues. So we're going to use this punch. I'll link this in the description too. I always try to link all of the supplies that I use for my craft with me videos, my crafty videos. And so I'll make sure I link that. So here's that, and I did do it right where the corners are because I have this part glued down, and so I have it like right in between. So that's kind of a little rule of thumb. And then here, I'm going to add my hole here for the eyelet. But I'm not gonna add the eyelet or the ribbon just yet because I wanna splatter it. So let's get our splatters out. And then this is just acrylic um, white paint that I watered down. And very carefully, because I don't wanna get this on my clothes, I'm just adding little splatters.
Isn't this cute? Okay. I am going to dry it because I want to complete this now. So let me get my my little mini dryer. So if you want to forward this, it's fine. Or put it on mute. Ready? Go. Okay, now we can add all of our fun stuff. So let's do maybe a green. Let's do like a green ribbon. So maybe this one. This one? Yeah. This one or this one? Let's do this one because I feel like it matches this one better. So we'll do this. I got these at Hobby Lobby. They were on clearance and I just love them. They're like, I feel like they're like shoelaces, but they're like spread out. So anyways, I got those just in case anybody's asking or is wondering. So let's put this in so that this is ready. Come on, I'm trying to stick my finger and pull it out okay and then this we're going to add an eyelet to so let me get my eyelets out and let's do let's do brown down. I love these eyelets from Craftelier. Okay, now we can put whatever we want to use as our little dangles. Because you know your girl, you know your girl, she needs to put dangles on everything. <laughs> Let's see, this is green. We could put like a contrasting orange. That would be fun. I just got a couple out. This one would actually match really well. Let's do that. And then I can add this little thing. These are itty bitty mini tags that I got from, <clears throat> excuse me, from Walmart. And I just use my little stamps. I stamp it, ink it on both sides and I get these in the office section it comes with this purple little string but let's add an eyelet to that one let's just do black we're gonna add a little eyelet to this luckily our little our little eyelets are the ones that fit in that one. And the little ones are 
what size are they? The 1 8th? It's the 1 8th eyelet. So let's put this back where we had it. Sorry for my inky fingers, guys. So let's put this in. There. I just like the way it looks like that, more finished. And we do have to put a little hole in this one. Let's put it right there. And this is the chipboard. This is from the Tim Holtz drunk drawer chipboard pieces. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it as this. It's I know that it's not gonna tear. So let's get our little bulb pin. Put that in first, then this one. And then we're gonna hook it on. And I like to do this with the actual opening, the, the narrow end, I do that down. It's just easier for it to dangle. Isn't that cute? And then we stick it in and we're done. There it is. Don't you love it? It's so much fun, it's super easy. There you go. So, as always, I always like to know which one your favorite is. So let me move all of this out of the way. All the stickers or the focal points that I used on these tags are all from, well, these three. They're from my book, my book of stickers that I hauled from Amazon. Again, I'll link that down below, and these are from Timu. So we have the butterfly, the mushroom, the bird, and the plant. So let me know which one's your favorite, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. And again, all my links are down below. My email, if anyone wants to contact me, my email is always uh, linked down below. Um, my Etsy shop. Um, I'm hoping to get some new dangles out very soon. Um, I'm also, I also have my Amazon storefront. So if anybody's looking for any of the supplies that I use in any of my videos, most likely you'll find it there. And what else? Um, oh, my buy me a coffee. So if anybody's interested in helping me out and supporting my channel, then there's the place to do it. So that's it guys. Thanks so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.